guys this is Chandani welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today so in my video today I'll be showing you how the new Demerara River crossing is progressing on the western side I did a video a few days ago showing you the eastern side from when I started videoing to how it is as at April 2025 and today I'm going to show you what the west side looks like now so before I get into my video, I just want to give my deepest condolences to the parents and families of Adriana Young. That's the little girl you're looking at in the picture there. She died on Wednesday. She's just 11 years old. She died on Wednesday on the east bank of Essequibo. And it really and truly breaks my heart. The whole of Guyana is mourning for her right now. And I want to give my deepest condolences to the parents and families. And... My only hope is that justice will prevail and may the love of God bring you comfort. So let's move on to the bridge now. So here I am on the western side of the Demerara River crossing. I started videoing this side from July 2024. However, on the eastern side was from December 2023 and that's because they were showing a lot more uh, things going up structure was actually going up things were happening wasn't much happening uh on the eastern the western side just that they had the the construction site they were prepping they were doing stuff so i waited out a bit so now here it is this is what it looks like in july 2024 and the piers are there the bridge piers you can see them um, the temporary structure is there. Like I said, it's there to facilitate the construction of the permanent structure. And that piece you see there going out, which is a bridge, is the temporary structure. But those concrete stuff you see in the water there are actually piers. And thanks to Ravi2002, a subscriber of mine, he actually gave me the correct name. So thank you for that. So yeah, um, here I'm just showing you the current the Marara, uh Harbor Bridge. So that part I'm showing you there is the western side and that's the construction site. It's much more uh, clearer now. You'll get to see uh, April 2025 what it looks like. So here I'm just showing you a layout of the Demerara River, the uh, temporary structure and the piers down at the bottom there. So we're going to move on to the next date now. So I'm not sure if they're going to keep the name Demerara Harbor Bridge because a harbor bridge is a bridge that spans a harbor or an inlet of water connecting two land areas, Region 3 and Region 4. So I'm not sure if they're going to keep the name Harbor, but so far it's the new Demerara River Crossing. That's the name I know, and that's what I'm calling it. So here we are now into October 2024, and now you can actually see a bit clearer. You can see uh, the structure coming alive, and those are the, the beams, and you can actually see the beams clearer now. It's a bit higher than um, July, where they were now setting up. And like I said, this is October 2024, and this is how it's looking. Right next to it there is the current Demerara Harbor Bridge. And that's looking quite slender compared to the structure next to it here. And imagine when, it, when it's completed, it's going to look uh, wider, taller, bigger. <laughs> and um, the completion date, as they said, is August 2025. August 2025. So we were all excited and we hope that it actually eases the traffic, eases the congestion, the traffic congestion. So let's, we can just hope and see and wait. <laughs> so I'm uh, moving on very soon. Um, I'm not going to go all the way to the towers there, but this is just showing you the structure down below. And then we'll move on to the next date. Well, here is just a bit of a zoom up view of the towers, how it's coming. And this is closer to the eastern side of the bridge. And the towers are getting higher. They're way higher now, way higher. So you'll see as I get along into the video. So now we're moving on to February 2025. And that day was a rainy day. 
yes you can see the grain is all around and i managed to catch a video just before the rain started pouring again so now we're getting on to the bridge february 2025 and you can actually see the installation of the girders on there already it's coming up you can i know it looks small from how i'm showing you but it's actually big it's actually wide and next to it that little bridge you see down there next to it that's the temporary structure so you can imagine uh how much work was put in from uh, from july 2024 to now february 2025 and the girders are installed there and it has to go all the way to the end eventually um the eastern side is also coming together nicely and they're going to join eventually to the towers so the towers are going to have the platforms with the cables and then they're going to join with this these girders are going to join as it go and you can see there uh, the machine is there that blue machine that's the machine that's installing the girders onto the bridge again i have to show you our current demerara harbor bridge it has lasted 40 years more than 40 years um, it has withstand all the traffic, all the heavy traffic to and fro. A few um, speed bumps along the way, but um, it, it held up. So this is just showing you the girders that are installed. And they still have to uh, cast it and all of that. So right across there, that's the west side. That is the construction site to the left. To the right is Joe Vera Park where they're working on. It's going to be a beautiful park when it's finished. So they're still working on that. And there's a little roundabout further up. And the new highway that's opened up there. That schooner to Crane Highway. All the way there. I'm going to show you in the next um, clip. I'll show you the road. So that's the schooner to Crane Highway. And those are the girders down below, which has to be installed onto the bridge. So that's what the site looks like on the west side in February 2025. And over there, like I said, is Joe Vera Park coming around nicely. One thing I thought they would have done, though, is leave the map of Guyana. There was a map of Guyana there, right in grave, like in the ground or with the grass. But it's not there. I'm not seeing it. I don't know if they're going to put it back um, as in like a little pool of water or something. Maybe they should do it like that. Uh, like a pond. But that's the park. How it's looking. And it's shaping up very nicely. So like I said, this is a compilation of the west side of the bridge. The western end of the new Demerara River crossing. It was an idea I decided to run with. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. So now we are in April 2025 and this is current because we are in the month of April 2025 and this is how the bridge is looking right now. There is a piece that has been casted, or cast, I don't know if I'm using the, the words correctly here, but you can see cast done concrete over the girders. So there's a piece that has concrete and I think it's, it's this is going to happen all the way through. This is what it's looking like right now. So they have gone very far into the bridge where the girders are. And they're going to start casting as they go. And you can see that happening already. So this is what it's looking like. They're gone, they're gone very far with the girders. So I'm going to tell you again, and I said it in all my videos of the bridge, all my bridge videos that I did so far. This is the new four-lane high-span Demerara Bridge, and it will be completed in August 31st, 2025. And it will connect Regions 3 and Region 4, and this bridge will accommodate vehicles of all sizes and weights and carry a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. And it will replace the current Demerara Harbor Bridge, which can accommodate vehicles moving at 32 kilometers per hour so while the current bridge has open schedules to allow large vessels to pass the new bridge will have an elevation of six meters above the surface to allow all vessels to pass underneath 
So the new Demerara River Bridge is designed to reflect the Cassie Crown of Honor, which stands as the second highest award in the Order of Service of Guyana. Also, the bridge features a main tower measuring 110 meters in height, with a clearance of approximately 6 meters high, and it will also feature cyclists and walking lanes. And lastly, it will have a lifespan of 100 years. So you can see the construction site on the left again and the Jovera Park on the right and it's coming up there. I just did not get to video much of it, but I'm going towards the schooner to crane highway to show you guys. And this is right after the roundabout there. And the schooner to crane highway is a four lane highway and it was opened or should I say commissioned in August 2024 I wasn't here to actually video that but that's when it commissioned and that highway connects Schoonard on the west bank of Demerara to a uh, crane on the west coast of Demerara and like I said there's a roundabout which outfitted with a totem pole you can see the totem pole in the middle and that's at the intersection that links the two corridors and just to note, the construction of this schooner to crane four-lane highway is part of a much larger initiative to establish a secondary road link to Perica on the east bank of Essequibo. So I hope you guys are enjoying my compilation video of the western side of the new Demerara River crossing. Like I said, I got this, uh, I started videoing from July 2024 on the western side there was not a whole lot to show you although things were happening i waited a bit for the structure to actually started showing before i decided to video however the eastern side as you saw if you've seen my video it there was much more work uh, being shown not just being done but shown for me to started actually started videoing in december 2023 that's how i was able to show you from since then till april 2025 but I hope you enjoy this compilation. I will make it a bit smaller just now, just for you to enjoy the little clips um, from then till April 2025. I'll put that in along with a, an interlude so you can enjoy it. And like I said, I hope you guys are enjoying all my videos. Thank you so much to all my, my subscribers, my followers. Um, TikTok as well because I do I do pull some of my videos and post it on TikTok. So um I've been getting a a, a lot of uh just not just following lots of views on TikTok too. So thank you so much whoever is watching from YouTube and going over to TikTok. Thank you so much for following me. And my TikTok name is Chandani Singh Rahman. Yes, Singh was my maiden name. So it's Chandani Singh Rahman lower caps of course so you can check that out so now i'm going to leave the little clip with the interlude and i hope you guys enjoy it and i hope you enjoyed this video i'm going to leave the eastern side uh at the end of this video so you can click in and check that out so uh, thanks again for your support
so guys thank you so much for watching hope you're entertained by this video don't forget to subscribe like and share and comment below and i will see you in the next one take care bye bye